Hi. In the last class, we saw how to draw ray diagrams, correct? From the ray diagrams, we could tell several things about the image. We saw that we could tell whether the image is real or virtual. We could tell the size about the image of the image, whether it is smaller or bigger than the object. Third one, we could tell the location. Fourth one, we could tell the whether the image is going to be inverted or erect. Okay, so these four things we were able to tell about the image. But when we are drawing the ray diagrams, we did not tell exactly what size it will be. Correct now? If the object is of size 15 centimeter, if this is 15 centimeter, what will the image size be exactly? That we did not get in the ray diagrams. Similarly, location also, exact distance we did not get. We told it is somewhere in between focus or center of curvature. Like for example, when the object was situated, uh, if this is C, beyond the center of curvature, then we told that the image will be situated somewhere between the center of curvature and the focus. But we did not tell exactly where. To know where exactly, we need to use some formulas. Okay? Now, whenever we talk about using formulas, we need to decide some standard conventions. What are conventions? Conventions or standards are some things that all of us are going to agree on. Okay? All of us will uh, uh, agree that we will follow this so that Solving the problems and applying the formula becomes easier. In your syllabus, you don't have to derive any formulas for this. If you if you were going to derive it, then you would understand how important conventions are. But let us leave it. For example, if you tell, if you take the SI units, they are also standards only. So we have started measuring all the distances in meters and kilometers. Okay, now why have we, how is that useful? It is very useful because now if I tell you that my home from is one kilometer from my school, you will be able to understand immediately how much, how far, is, how far it is. But if I would have told that my f home was, you know, uh, 10,000 math sticks away, then it would be very difficult, no? Uh, it, you cannot, you, you could not tell properly. So, uh, just like how there we agreed that 1 meter is this long and we are going to measure in meters, here also we are going to agree about several things. So, this agreement or convention is called as New Cartesian Sign Convention. So let us look at what this is. What have we agreed on? Let us look at it. So first of all, first rule is that mirror is always going to be on the right. So first rule is mirror right of the object. Note it down. Okay. First, and this is concave mirror. Convex also, it will be like this. Still here, mirror is right of the object. So this is first rule. Where the mirror and object positions will be. First rule over now. Now second rule is that towards the right is positive. Towards the right is positive. Towards the left is negative. This is, we will consider this as x-axis. Horizontal is x-axis along the principal axis. This is positive x-axis, negative x-axis. And upward will be positive y-axis. Negative, negative y will be downwards. So we agreed on four things. Positive is right, negative is left. 
positive y is upwards, negative y is downwards. This is actually easy to remember because even in the normal Cartesian coordinates also, towards the right only we have plus, correct no? Towards the right we have positive, towards the left we have negative. So this convention is easy to remember. Okay, so this right, left, up, down conventions, remember that. Overall, these rules are over. And uh, then what else is there? <coughs> this is pole. Pole is considered as the origin. 0, 0. Like how here we had 0, 0. Here the pole will be 0, 0. And this principal axis will be our x axis. And from the pole if we draw a line like this that will be y axis I don't think we will be using y axis much okay but uh, let us uh, see first so here if we tell that this, this is 5 meters from the mirror what will be the coordinate of this point it is negative this is 0 this is negative direction so and in the x x direction so x coordinate will be minus 5 y coordinate is zero correct no if the if the height of the object is one meter what will this point be x coordinate will be same because it's on the same this is the x coordinate so it will be minus five only but y coordinate will be minus or plus it is upward so plus so minus five comma plus one Understood, no? So this uh, just like how we do for the normal coordinate course system, here also we will apply the same. Why are we doing this? Now I will show you the formula. To apply that formula, we need these rules. Okay? Let us go to the formula. So this is very important. Remember, you have to remember this, that for using mirror formula that is I'm now I'm going to teach you mirror formula or any formula that we are going to use now you have to follow this convention if this formulas work only if you follow the convention note this down also okay formulas that I'm going to teach you now are going to work only if you follow those conventions otherwise the, your answer will be completely wrong and you uh, it, it is useless it is uh, going to be a completely wrong answer okay now let us look at the formula let us look at the mirror formula just before like, before we look at the formula, we have to learn about one thing that is the distance of this point focus from the pole is called as focal length. This distance is called focal length and focal length is denoted by small f. You have to remember these conventions also. So small f is focal length, capital F is for the point focus. That is, for this telling about this point, when we are labeling it, we will put it as capital F. But when you are talking about the distance, we will put as small f. Okay. Now, the distance of the object from the pole will be, this distance will be u. The distance of the image from the pole, this distance will be v. u is object. Uh, distance of object from the pole is u note it down u is distance of object from pole v is distance of image from pole Okay, this is very important. F, you know, it is focal length. Okay. Now, 
there is one important relation. This is C. Distance of this C from the pole is what? It is the radius of the circle, not a whole circle. If this is the center of the circle, this was a part of a bigger circle. So, distance of this from pole is called as a radius. Radius of curvature. It is denoted by R. And there is a relation between radius of curvature and focal length. What is it? Radius of focal length equal to radius of curvature by 2. It means that focus is exactly at the middle of center of curvature and the pole. It is exactly at the midpoint. This and this are same. Understood? So this is one important thing. Now after we have completed all of this, let us finally come to the mirror formula. That, that is 1 by V plus 1 by U equal to 1 by F. This is the mirror formula. Note it down. So, V is distance of image from the pole. U is distance of object from the pole. F is focal length. Okay, and now here you have to follow the sign convention also. If somebody tells that an object is at a distance of 5 meter from the mirror, it means what is u? If this is 5 meter, this from here to here it is 5 meters, what will be the u? Is it plus 5 or minus 5? It will be minus 5 because 0 is here and left direction is going to be negative. So, from 0 we are coming in the negative direction. How much negative are we coming? 5 meters. So, it is minus 5. So, uh, if they tell that this, this thing, you will be minus 5. And if the image is on this side of the mirror, that is left side of the mirror, then we also will be negative. But if it is this side, then we also will be positive. Okay? Uh, we will look at a problem, then you will understand better. So, mirror formula will tell us about the location of the image. Now, let us look at magnification formula. That will tell us about the size of the image. Magnification What is magnification? If height of image is equal to h dash height of uh, object equal to h magnification is defined as h dash by h okay mm, so if image is twice as bigger as the uh, object that is for example if object was 5 meters and if image was 10 meters long then it means magnification would be 2. If magnification is 2, it means uh, height of object or the size of the object is only half of size of the image or size of the image is 2 times the size of the object. So this is magnification. Now there is a formula to uh, relate magnification to V and U. Formula says that H dash by H equals to minus V by U. Okay, so this is magnification formula. This also you have to note it down. Okay, now that we are done with this, let us solve these examples that are, that are there in the textbook so that it will become. So we'll, we will solve example 10.1. What does it say? It says rear view on an automobile has. Convex mirror on a rear view or an automobile has a radius of curvature 3 meter. R is 3 meter. Then, bus is located 5 meter from this mirror. Bus is located 5 meter from this mirror. Always, mirror will be right. Object will be on the left. Sorry, they had all convex mirror, no? 
We have a graph convex. You know. Well, bus is on. Mm. Obviously, object is on the left. It has to be always on the left. And they have told it is 5 meters. So, what is u? Is it minus 5 or plus 5? It is minus 5 because it's on the left side. Left side is negative. This is 0. We are coming left side. It is minus 5 meters. Okay. <coughs> then we are supposed to find the position of the image, nature of the image, size of the image. Three things we have to find. Now, let us see. We, first of all, we have been given areas of curvature. Where is the uh, focus going to be? Focus is going to be at so, so this is a convex mirror. Remember, very careful. Convex mirror focus will be on the other side because it is where the rays appear to converge. The focus will be here. At what distance? It will be focal length. Focal length we know is radius of curvature by 2 is equal to 3 by 2 meter. Correct? And is it positive or negative? Focus is this side. Zero is here. This is focus is this side, so it is positive. U is negative. Okay. Then let us use a mirror formula to get V, that is position of image. So 1 by V plus 1 by U equal to 1 by F implies uh, 1 by V u is minus 5 so minus 1 by 5 equal to 1 by f that is 1 by what is f r by 2 3 by 2 meters and it is plus only <coughs> implies 1 by v is equals to 3 by 2 will become reciprocal and it will become 2 by 3 minus 1 by 5 will go here it will become plus 1 by 5. Okay, so now what is the LCM? Five, so 15 is the LCM of 5 and 3. 3 5s are into 5 into 5 5 into 3 is equals to 10 plus 3 13 by 15. So V is equals to 15 by 13 because 1 by V is 13 by 15 V will become ulta, that is 15 by 13, that is equals to 1.15 something something, where let us roll it off to 1.15 meters. Okay, so this will be V. So position done. Position is plus, we did not get any minus sign, no? so it is plus 1.15 meter, means where will it be? It will be here, on this side, because positive. Position over on. Now let us look at size. For size, we need a magnification formula h dash by h is equals to minus v by u is equals to minus 1.15 by u is minus 5. So is equals to 1.15 by 5. If you divide it, you will get 0 0.23. It is plus 0 0.23. If it was minus, what would it mean? Minus means negative y because this is magnification. No, it is talking about height. So if it is, if it, if it was minus, then it would mean the image would be inverted. But it has come plus. It means the image is not inverted. But is the image bigger in size or smaller in size? It is. See, height of the image, h dash, is equal to height of the object into 0 0.23. That's what we have gotten here. No? h dash by h is equal to 0 0.23. Now, whenever we multiply any number by some, some number which is less than 1, what will happen? For example, if we multiply 2 by 0 0.5, answer is 1. So, we will get something which is lesser than 2. 
correct? If, when we are multiplying something which is lesser than 1 with any number, we will get some number which is lesser than that number. So here also, h dash is lesser than h, which means image will be diminished in size. So the size of the image is diminished. What ex How much exactly? Uh, height of the image is 0 0.23 times height of object. Nature, is it inverted or erect? We have got positive magnification, which means it is erect. And where is the image formed? It is on other side of the mirror. If it is formed on the other side of the mirror, it means that it is only formed because light rays are appearing to intersect. Because light rays can't go on the other side of the mirror. So, they can't actually intersect. So, it means it is virtual. So, we have got everything now. Okay, so one example is done. Let us do it one more. 10.2. Object 4 cm in size. So, object size is 4 cm. 25 cm in front of a concave mirror. So, always mirror is towards the right. Again, okay. 25 cm it seems. So, U is minus 25 cm. Okay, because object is always towards the left of the mirror. Okay, then uh, in front of a concave mirror, a focal length 15 cm. F is focal length is 15 cm. For a concave mirror, where is the focus? It is here, no? It is it is toward, it is on this side. If for convex mirror, the focus was on the other side of the mirror. But for the convex mirror, it is here. So focal length will be plus or minus. Because it is here, for concave mirror, focal length will be minus 15 cm. Okay? Then, at what distance from the mirror should a screen be placed in order to obtain a sharp image? They are just indirectly asking, where will the image be formed? Because I told you, know, when, if you keep, if it is a real image, and if you keep a paper or any screen at that particular point, you will be able to see that image properly. So now, uh, where, by asking this, they are indirectly asking, where is the image formed? So we have to find the distance of the image. Correct now? Let us use a mirror formula. We are, we are very expert at it already. 1 by V plus 1 by U equals to 1 by F. Implies 1 by V is, we don't know, 1 by V. U is minus 25. Minus 1 by 25 equal to focus is minus 15. Okay, here everything is in centimeter. Always be careful that whenever you are using any formula, all the things that are there in the formula should always be the same units. Okay, like if it is in SI units, everything should be in SI units. If it is in CGS units, like centimeter, everything should be in CGS unit. Okay, now 1 by V is what? 1 by V is minus 1 by 50 plus 1 by 25. What is LCM of these two? I think it is 75. So, is equal to this into 5, into 5, into 3, into 3, equals to minus 5, plus 3, by 75. Equal to minus 2 by 75. Implies V equal to minus 75 by 2 equals to minus 30 uh, 7.5 correct huh? yes it is minus 37.5 centimeter minus means what it is this side so it is found behind this oh then we don't know the uh, size yet no so we know that it is a mm, minus 37.5 which means it is here. Okay, now we have known the position. Is that what they are asking? At what distance? Huh? Find the nature and size also they are asking. Okay, so we have already found V, that is 7.5. Nature and size. 
Minus 37.5 by 25 is the magnification, and we already know h, no? So that is 4 centimeters. So size of the image h dash would be minus 37.5 into 4 divided by 25. Uh, that I'm not going to do the calculation here. In the textbook, it has been given as minus 6. So it comes out to be minus 6. Oh, then it's easy on actually. Uh, see 20. This we can multiply by 10. If we do multiply and divide by 10, then it will become 25. This will become 375. 5 5s are 5, 7s uh, are 5 5s. 5 75s are 5 1s are 5s. 5 15s are so 15 4s are 60 and. So this we have already used up here. So 15 4 is 60 by 10 is 6. Correct. It is equal to minus 6. What do you mean by minus here? It means it is inverted. Okay. So nature size. What is nature? It is formed here. Which means it is actually formed in front of the mirror. Means it is real. Magnification is negative. Inverted. And we have V is minus 37.5. We have seen that size is uh, minus 6 centimeter. Minus 6 centimeter. So it is slightly bigger. It will be like this. Okay. So we have solved these problems. Now that we are done with this, uh, we can go for refraction. But you have to practice this. You have to be very careful. In this only people will do maximum silly mistake that is not following the sign convention. Every time you have to be careful. Convex mirror means convex mirror means focal length is focus is here. So focal length will be positive. Concave mirror means focal length would be negative. Okay. And always the object is towards the left so u will always be almost negative only but v it will be negative if it is on this side v will be positive if it is on this side and magnification mean if it is negative it means it is inverted ok you have to note this down ok then you will not do silly mistakes and you have to practice some problems so that you don't do silly mistakes ok thank you